Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala Rasulihi al-Karim. We need to briefly revise the ayah of I of Surah Al-Maidah that we taught you this morning. In this ayah or verse of the Quran, Allah has spoken about two people who are our biggest enemies and they would be our greatest enemies at the time when the Quran was revealed as well as in time to come. And of course the two enemies are number one, the Jews, the Yahud. They were our greatest enemies in the lifetime of the Prophet and they are our greatest enemies today. Number two, the people who were in shirk in Mecca and they were our greatest enemies at that time and today that world of shirk is represented by modern western civilization and unfortunately also the Hindu world. Not all Hindus were like this. There are honorable people amongst the Hindus. There were righteous people amongst the Hindus. In same, the same way as there were honorable people amongst the Jews. And there were righteous people amongst the Jews. But the same direction in which Israel is moving is the same direction that Hindu India is moving. And then Allah goes on to say that at that time when the Jews and those in shirk are your greatest enemies, those who will show the greatest love and affection for you would be a people who declare we are Nasara. The Quran does not describe them as Christians. The Quran has given a much more beautiful name for them. The Quran called them Nasara. And Nasara in the Quran are those who help Allah. Nabi Isa salam makes a dua in the Quran. Man ansari ilallah. Who will join me to be helpers of Allah? قَالَ الْحَوَارِيُّونَ نَحْنُ أَنْصَارُ اللَّهِ The followers of Nabi Isa a.s. who had white in their heart, they said, we are the helpers of Allah. So when Allah speaks of this Nasara, He's speaking about those who now consider themselves Christians. But these are not secular Christians. For Indonesia, one of the foundations of the state is secularism. And secularism is the foundation of the rejection of Allah. These are not Christians who say our primary identity, we are French, we are Dutch, we are British, we are Americans, we are Australians. No, they say we are Christians. Their primary identity is not their nationality, it is their faith. Question. Who are these Christians who at the time when the Quran was revealed were closest in love and affection for us? And who in the end time will again be closest in love and affection for us? It cannot be the Christians of the West. They are secular Christians. It has to be room of the Quran, room which was in Constantinople. And Allah helped room. And room was victorious. And today room is led by Russia. And then the eye of the Quran continues to explain the reason why these Christians will become closest in love and affection for us are three answers. One, because they have the priesthood. So the priests 
the priest in the Christian world of Rome will lead the effort to bring that Christian world closest in love and affection for us. Number two, because they have monasticism, Rahmaniya, and the institution of monasticism with the monastery and the monk will bring them closest in love and affection to us. وَأَنَّهُمْ لَا يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ Finally, the reason why they will become closest in love and affection for us because they are not an arrogant people. It was arrogance when the white people came and said, we are superior to the brown people and we are that. superior to the black people. Allah that. has chosen us to rule the world. And today, these people who are so arrogant, we are the rulers of the world, chosen by Allah. And today, look at them. A man can now marry another man and get a marriage certificate. Then. But these Christians of Rome, they don't have this arrogance. They don't want to rule the world. But they don't consider themselves superior. We're born superior. Mm -hmm. This was what we taught you this morning. And Pagi now, tadi, eh? because I only have three more mornings left, and then I have to travel. I have to return to Kuala Lumpur in December, inshallah. And I hope I can come to Jambar again for one week. <laughs> one week, inshallah. Not in one December. month. And then in January, where is um, uh, from South Africa? Uh, Shafiq. Ah, Shafiq. Yeah, I'm going to Shafiq's country, yeah, South country Africa, Africa in, Shala, in January. Not one month here, say. How much time we have left? Uh, now? We say okay. half an hour. Now then, we go now again to Suratul Ma'idah. And perhaps... There is no ayah of the whole Qur'an which has been more misunderstood yeah. and explained in a wrong way than this ayah. When you go home and you look at the tafsir in Bahasa, I'm almost sure you'll see the Bahasa tafsir saying something wrong. So I want you to listen carefully. Allah says in the Qur'an that if there were other gods beside Allah. No, if this Quran had come from any source other than Allah, you would have found several contradictions in this Quran. But this Quran has no contradiction. So now then. Ba'dawuzi billahi min a shaitani rajim. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, O you who have faith in this Quran, la tatakhizul yahuda wan nasara awliya. Do not take Jews and do not take nasara Christians as your awliya, your friends and allies. But then the Quran goes on to say something else, which indicates that Allah is not talking about all Jews and He's not talking about all Christians. لا تتخذ اليهود والنصارى أولياء بعضهم أولياء بعض. Do not take Jews and Christians as your friends and allies who are themselves friends and allies of each other. So the Quran is not speaking about all Jews and all Christians. The Quran is speaking about only those Jews and those Christians who are friends and allies of each other. وَمَن يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْهُمْ Whosoever from amongst you become friends and allies with them, you no longer belong to this ummah. 
Allah does not recognize you as a member of this Ummah anymore. Allah says, you do not belong to the Ummah of Muhammad Rather, you belong to that Jewish Christian Jamaat. Inna Allah la yahdil qawma zalimeen. And Allah will not provide guidance to a wicked people. This is what the Quran says. Now let me tell you what nearly everybody else say. Anywhere you go, any tafsir, you find something else. And what they gave in their tafsir is put contradiction in the Quran. This is what the tafsir says. All you who have faith in this Quran, do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your friends and allies. But then it goes on to say, Ba'aduhu mawliya ba'd. They are friends and allies of each other. But, the time when the Quran was revealed, Jews and Christians were not friends and allies of each other. Jews and Christians were enemies. So this tafsir is wrong. Is saying that the Quran is saying something which is wrong and false. But there's Don't more to it than that. This tafsir is saying, don't take all Jews and don't take all Christians as your friends and allies. Okay. Now, listen carefully. Listen carefully. If Allah is saying, don't take all Jews and don't take all friends as your, all Christians as your friends and allies, then there is contradiction in the Quran. Number one, Allah says jadi, in jadi the Quran, ada ya. Sorry, wa yes. ta'amuhum hillul lakum, wa ta'amukum hillul lahum. That your, their food, their makan is halal for you. And your makan is halal for them. So if a Christian is eating food which is halal for him, then it is halal for me. And if a Jew is eating food which is halal for him, it is halal for me. So if my Jewish neighbor invites me for a meal and he's offering me a yam, and I don't know if they make zabiha, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala and her ask O oh, Messenger of Allah, what should we do? Nabi Muhammad replied and he said, Say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and eat the food. So if this tafsir is correct, I will have to say to my neighbor, I can eat your food at your table. You can't be my friend. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Also sounds stupid, doesn't it? Allah says in the Quran, and the woman of Ahlul Kitab, halal for us. We can marry a Christian woman. But if this tafsir is correct, I'll have to say to her, when I marry her, I'll have to say to her, Habibati, you can be my wife, but you can't be my friend. <laughs> Sounds funny. Sounds stupid as well. <laughs> Bodoh. Number three, Bodoh kurang the Quran says that they are a Christian people yeah. who will become closest in love and affection for us, that they will believe in the Quran as the word of Allah, but they still remain Christian. When these people come to us with so much love and affection, we shut the door. You cannot be our friends. Stupid, isn't it? Stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Let me repeat it one more time. That's stupidness. <laughs> so there will be contradiction in the Quran with that tafsir. And yet nearly every single copy of the Quran that you get tarjuma, more than 99% of all the tarjuma, they wow. give this wrong and false explanation. But, but, and I pasu. have been teaching the correct explanation for 20, 25 years or more. 
And their response, they shut the doors of the masjid on me. If they accept anything from me as truth, the sky will fall down. So, so there is an Arab, an Arab proverb, and I love it. Kafila is the caravan, kafila. Al kafila to tasir. The caravan is keep on moving on. Kalb is dog. Kalb is plural. Dog. Al kafila to tasir. Well, kila butanba. I don't bother with the criticism. They attack. I don't think any scholar has been attacked more than I have been. Yeah. What this verse of the Quran has done is to separate two different groups among the Christians and Jews. In Surah to Rum, when Allah said, "Min kabul, wa min bad," we said there has to be something in between. What is that in between? And the first victory of Rome, min kabul, and the second victory of Rome, min bad. And we said number one, the Rome would be divided into two. One part of Rome remained in Constantinople, but and they continued to follow Nabi Salisa. And the other part of Rome went to. To Rome, to Italy, to the Vatican, and they decided to follow someone else. Who was it? Santa Claus. Santa Claus, Santa Claus. correct. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> so that part which went to Italy, that part make an alliance with the Jews. Today it is called the Zionist, and this Zionist Judeo-Christian alliance that they created. The International Monetary Fund, and the reason why they created the International Monetary Fund that is to crucify us. And who was it who recognized that most of all um, and took his country out of the IMF? Uh, Tell me who is it? I didn't hear you again. <laughs> <laughs> Indonesia, you've forgotten Ahmad Sukarno. Sukarno. Only one leader in the whole world of Islam, only one, took his country out of the international monitor. And that Judeo-Christian Zionist alliance created the IMF to enslave us. And I have to leave the island of Trinidad. The, Close to Venezuela. Then I have to come to Indonesia to remind you that bahwa, Zionist Judeo-Christian Alliance not only created the IMF, International Monetary Fund, but also created the United Nations Organization, and also they created the North Atlantic. Treaty Organization NATO NATO and Turkey Then is a Turkey. member of NATO. <laughs> Turkey is the only Muslim country yeah, a member of NATO. NATO. Yeah, that is shameful. That is disgraceful. Absolutely. That is sinful. And guess what the Turks say when I speak like this? The mm -hmm. only answer they have. This man is against the Turkish people. Instead of criticizing me, they should launch a movement in Turkey, like Bangladesh, force like Turkey to come out of NATO. We have five minutes left. I'm sorry, I took so much time. So I want you to sit down and eat this, digest this eye of the Quran carefully. Daddy. All right. Tomorrow morning, I will go to another surah of the Quran, surah to um, surah to Ali Imran. Yeah. Any questions? Selamat usai Imran Hussein. Selamat datang di kota Jember. Welcome to Jember. Terima kasih atas kedatangannya dan pencerahannya di sini. Thank you for your explanation uh, and lectures. Saya ingin bertanya satu hal yang sedikit membingungkan. Uh, Terkait surat Muhammad ayat terakhir 
the last the last verse of surat Muhammad. Uh, surat Muhammad ayat 38 yang uh, terakhir ayat. yaitu yang berbunyi wa in tatawallau yastabdil qauman ghairakum thumma la yakunu amthalakum. Ya. Uh, mungkin uh, apa implementasinya atau kaitannya dengan era zaman sekarang? What is the link Apakah with the zaman? Uh, Arabik yang munafikin, yang abai terhadap saudaranya Palestine, apa ada, kait, ada kaitannya? Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Uh, this area of the Quran is not connected with today's topic. So tomorrow morning you must come, and I will answer you tomorrow morning, inshallah. Don't dis don't disappoint me. And of course, mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. For Sheikh Abdulaziz, we have in the morning now this beautiful cahaya. The lamp is beautiful. <laughs> MashaAllah. For Sheikh Abdulaziz. Beautiful lamps, huh? MashaAllah. Ma Next indah. question. My name is Agus Salim. It's about a uh, Christian at uh, Nosoro in the Al Maida. There is a uh, ayah. In to add them whom for in Nahu and Baduk, when Takfir, Lahum for in Naga and Tal Anjil Hakim. All of Lohada Yomo Yang found Sodik, Sodikina, Sitikuhum. What mean the Sodikina Sitikuhum? It's mean let all the what a Christian did, the Orthodox one is correct like that. We have already touched on this subject that there are amongst the Ahlul Kitab there are those who are believers Mu'minun Laisu Sawa'an they are not all the same Allah says amongst the Ahlul Kitab there are those who are believers and the Siddiq truth which is in them that truth will be revealed one day. So it is wrong to say all Christians are kuffar. And I, in Britain, I am facing a tremendous backlash. <laughs> because there are so uh, many negative sheep and cattle in Britain. Who hate the Christians. They would love to make another genocide of the Armenians. The Ottoman Empire waged bogus jihad on the Christians for 600 years. And these Muslims in Britain want to wage it for another 600 years. So the same man who says, is a kafir. I leave the matter with Allah. Allah is warning us. One day the Sidq or the truthfulness in the heart of these Christians and also Jews will one day become manifest. We have to go prepare the Salad yeah, harus for, for after, after um, Salat or Maghrib we have dinner. Okay. okay. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>